I need a hero to save my life. I need a hero to save me now. I need a hero. Hey guys, it's Hero12333 here again with the Senshi and the Yamato. Um, today I'll be talking a little bit about designing the larger ships. Now, um, a lot of people think that heavy armor is the best way to go because they think it's going to be slow anyways. That's not the case. Um, large ships can actually get to some pretty nice speeds, especially since um, they can have these really large engine sections. And this all kind of depends on your own preference of how things look, but um, for the most part people like to go with these huge um, thruster sections that stand out. And I see why too, because you can shoot the hell out of this and you'll still be able to use it. So, um, large ships have a lot of, uh, a lot of free room with the thrusters. Now, um, I should talk about how I actually designed this. I, Yusuke wanted me to make basically Yamato in space, so I started with the bow of a World War II style ship, and I started moving back, and I thought, you know what? This is a fucking spaceship. Fuck Yusuke this can be a fucking spaceship so I changed it and started working more towards a spaceship but I actually really like the bow um, and you guys should definitely get inspiration from other things I'm not saying copy anything but you should definitely take inspiration from some things out there because they're pretty interesting and you can mix and match everything and you end up getting like this really cool bow that kind of spreads into an actual spaceship but um Anyways, uh, as for armor, do not use heavy armor, except for the very important parts, which I'll show you up here. All of this is light armor, except for under this turret. And the reason for that is, is because, let me just fire at, um, okay, so all of my reactors are here. Um, let's just go ahead and fire everything. I think that's where my reactors are anyways. Do I have indestructible blocks on? I think I do. Alright. I will be back while I go change that. I didn't need to go back and change the settings. They were already fine. Um, I forgot that this actually has a mod in it that is very useful. And uh, any of you actually getting into designing warships should probably get it. Um, but now I need to go find it. Uh, there's a um, shield mod that I will put in the description below, but um, these basically come on um, create shields, the things I just deleted. Um, oh fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, no, there we go. That was all a design thing that I put together and it's actually very dangerous. Um, where the hell are the shields? Uh, basically they give each block more health than they're designed to have. Um, and what that means is each block individually becomes stronger, um, which you would say, well, okay, yeah, of course I can use light armor, but that does actually also mean that if you know the shields are, I think here, um, fuck, where are they? Uh, here they are. Okay, but if you knew where the shields were, you could focus all your fire on there, and eventually you would break through. Um, and you just need to concentrate on that one area, because it's not a whole, like... It's not like if um, you have shield gener generators, it's going to power the whole ship um, to have shields. Uh, it's just each block is stronger, so if you break through those blocks and hit the inside of the ship, you can actually take out the shields like that. I don't think this has any more shields, so let's go ahead and test our weapons. And I'm going to try try and make this we uh, this this video um, shorter. That's why I'm. Oh, yep, there we go. That's why I'm talking so fast, which is also causing me to have speaking issues. Um. Yeah, so light armor is greatly underestimated. It's actually pretty powerful. I make all my ships out of it. Uh. Oh, of course, there's heavy behind here. Okay, so the heavy is in areas where 
uh, things that are important are, but um, the gyros I know are about here. And it will actually take me quite a while to get through. Because there's just so much light armor, and light armor weighs very, very little, so you can have a lot of it. And I think this here has uh, about three or four layers of light armor guarding the gyros, so of course you don't need much armor. Um, okay, you need a lot of armor, but you don't need heavy armor. I put heavy armor up here because it's just, there's really important stuff there. And actually, that's not supposed to be show. I think I meant to cover that up with light armor at some point. But, um, you just don't need heavy armor. It's greatly over overrated. Um, I cut through here and let's see what else is behind here. Oh, the hyperdrive is back here. Okay, so the reactors are here, I think. Yep. Okay, so... Oh, wow. That's only behind two layers of light armor. Okay, so still, um, that actually is hard to get through. I know this is a light ship, or a, a small ship, but it's actually a very powerful small ship, so... Um, again, redundancies. Uh, what the hell? Second time it's done that. I need to figure out what's doing that. It did that earlier when I was testing too. But, so if we look in here, there's a lot of reactors. And this actually doesn't take m much more uranium to power. Um, having this many reactors doesn't actually affect it that much. Um, you do have to use more uranium, but if you're building a ship this big, you probably don't have... Um, many problems with uh, materials. Um, this is a lot of uh, reactors and it actually we hardly use any of this power but um, as you're being blown to smithereens uh, it does come in handy because you will always have power. They can keep blowing them up but unless they blow up all of your reactors you will be fine and plus that shield is up um, which doesn't just affect hull armor, it affects absolutely everything. But um, we do also get great speed. This is very light, and if this was all heavy, we would probably still be stuck at about 10 meters a second right now. Um, instead, this goes very, very fast. We're already... It's backwards, thrusters aren't all that great. Um, so that's an example. I didn't put many thrusters on the front, and it takes a while to slow down. Um, you need lots of thrusters if you want a fast moving ship. If not, then alright, cover that ship in armor. Because if you don't have many engines, then whatever they take out is going to be what you have left. Um, whereas here, you can shoot as many engines out as you want. You're not going to stop me from leaving. I'm going to run the hell away. Or charge you. Either way, I'm going to move. Um... But yeah, so when designing, just keep in mind, you don't have to be generous with the thrusters, because you can have a lot of power in large ships like these, and be, uh, er, sorry, be generous with the thrusters, and be generous with the, um, with the armor, because you will need a lot of both if you're going to combat. And I'm actually going to show one last thing, it's basically going to be this Yamato, taking a full-on hit from another Yamato. So let me just paste in another Yamato here and, and I'll uh, get back to you guys in a second. Alright guys, I'm back with, um, I'm actually in one of the main turrets of the Yamato. Um, these things turn really slowly. Uh, I'm in, uh, this one right here that just stopped turning because I'm now controlling it. Um, but I know what you guys all really want to see is the big bang, so I'm going to be using one of these instead of just firing everything off. Um, like I said, this, this move is really slow, so let's just go ahead and speed up this last little bit. Alright, and we're back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my view so we can actually aim. Okay, I know what you guys want is to see the big bang here, so let's go ahead and 
step back. We'll go ahead and fire. Ah, that actually wasn't a very big bang, but... Um, even the huge OP weapons that you can get in mods aren't very useful if you have lots of armor. Just don't use too much heavy armor because you will slow yourself down and you'll make yourself easier to hit. If you want more speed, trust me. Um, you do also want a decent amount of armor, but heavy armor, a few layers of that, or a, a, a couple layers of that is nowhere near as useful as four layers of light because one of these shots can actually fully penetrate a layer of heavy armor but it cannot penetrate four layers of um, uh, of light armor so heavy armor it can penetrate right away light armor it actually can't because it's programmed to do this kind of area so seriously just don't don't go overboard with the heavy put it in small places like this I hardly used any heavy armor um, just use light armor because it makes you faster and you don't need as much engines though it is nice to have lots of engines because even if you take out a ton of these engines it'll still be able to run away so anyways um thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll be trying to put out more of these videos so uh, see you guys next time